Hello and welcome to my shop. Today I'm going to be looking at the new Black & Decker 20 volt lithium ion drill driver. Before I look at that, let's take a quick look at some other of the Black & Decker tools that I've gotten. First thing is the Black & Decker screwdriver, electric screwdriver. It's got a trigger handle, but the button is on top. It doesn't do hammer, it just drives screws. Now I got a couple screws here. We're going to try on this. So you can get a little bit of a difference. This is a Torx head screw with the Torx head bit. Better find the right one. Easy enough, just goes in and the Torx head holds it in. And as you can hear, power on this one is very low and slows down when you're trying to drive a deck screw. So we're going to see what happens with the new one. Other Black & Decker tool I have is the Weed Whacker. It uh, uses the same batteries as the drill driver. I have two of those already, so hopefully we'll be in good shape. Alright, let's uh, open this up and see what it looks like. See what we get. Alright, inside the box we get the drill. It's got the quick socket, quick chuck. Let's see what else we get. Instruction manual. Packing material. Let's set this aside right here. And then the battery charger, which is the same as the other ones from Black and Decker. So if you got one Black and Decker tool that takes the 20 volt batteries, you can interchange them. Alright, let's see if this actually has any charge on the battery out of the box. And just slip on in the front, clips in, and it also comes with a screwdriver with a flathead and a Phillips head. Light works. That's reverse. It's forward. It does have multi variable speed. And it's got torque settings down from 10. To 1, you should have a lot of torque. Look for it. 2, if I can find it, to a drill setting. So here's the settings, drill, 10 for the hardest, 
down to one, the weakest. And then of course, you got a reverse button. Alright, now let's take this same tool. Now how does it work for these? Sitting pretty good. Alright, setting 10. We're going to try to drill this screw in. See how it works. Well, it works pretty good. Very easily done. A couple other screws I want to try here. Wanted to use the bit that came with it. Phillips head. Got a Phillips head screw here. It's a little bit of a self-tapping. I'm going to set the uh, torque setting down about six. See what happens. Well, seems to work pretty well. And then, got a flathead somewhere. Put that in. Now this isn't a wood screw, this is a concrete screw. But it's got the flathead. And it also has the wrench head that you can use. So first I'm going to try it with the flathead, see how it does. Take it slow to get it started. Uh, that would be something that you need to pre-drill. So let's drill. Happen to have some drill bits here. Match up our size. Let's go with this one. Now you always want to make sure you get your drill bit centered, close up your chuck enough to make sure it's centered. Alright, put it on the drill setting, drill a hole. Nice enough to do that, work fairly easily. I guess it's a good idea, instead of setting it down, you set it on its clip in the back. Alright, set that back to 10, and 
flathead. That worked well enough. I hardly ever use flatheads anymore. So now we're getting to a point here. It's hard to work with. So flathead not so good. Well, we can always use this. And drive it home. Now I've got that on 10. Alright, it drove it. But you can see the torque came in on the 10 setting. As far as the battery goes, little clip unlocks it, they slide out, and then the battery charger just goes on like this. And you plug it in. And when it's plugged in, you'll see it blinking light. That lets you know it's charging. Fully charged, it'll be a solid green light, like this one. Now, as you can see, I can take any one of these, already charged, fully charged. And it'll just snap right in. Now you use the same battery on the weed whacker. But I can't use this battery on the little screwdriver. This is good for small jobs, but it's not good for powerful when you've got some hard screws to drive. This is good for some small ones. One thing I don't like about this one is the, the button on the top. You have to push it with, this, with, your, with your thumb instead of having a, a trigger. Trigger would be so much nicer. But they also allow you to put it in this direction. So you can hold it and drive a screw that way. Now see, I want to take this screw out. And it just doesn't have the juice to do it. This one plugs in in the back. And there's no indicator letting you know it's charging or when it's got a full charge. I've charged that one not too long ago. And I might have used it, might not have, but now the battery's dead. So there you have it. The Black & Decker 20 volt max lithium ion drill driver. Uh, one other thing I wanted to show, which I didn't find out until a little bit later, is really long drywall screws. With the torque setting on 10, watch what you run into.
hasn't even come through yet. But I can set it to the drill setting. Plenty of torque. Take it out. The only thing you gotta make sure of is when you're doing it that way, you put pressure onto the screw so you don't strip out the head. Hi, once again, thank you for coming to my shop and our review of the Black & Decker 20 Volt Max Drill Driver. And have a good day.